Hello to everyone. Welcome. I not buy bread alone. This is your Basriati. The fourth week of Lent. Today I'm going to talk about a world apart. And our readings are from Isaiah 65, 17 to 21. And John 4, 43 to 54. Our scripture, the things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I created. Isaiah 65, 17b, our reflection. Today's reading from Isaiah is uplifting even as it is confounding. We hang on to the words and wish they could be true, not someday in heaven, but today right here on earth. Imagine if you really could forget all the past things that hurt you and haunt you and always be rejoicing. We want to believe it can happen, but we know how hard life can be. We cling to the past the good and the bad, and measure our present by it. How can we really forget the past and rejoice always? As I was pondering that question, believe it or not, the song Rejoice by the Irish rock band U2 came on in the background. It's a song I'm not that familiar with, but all of a sudden, a cle- as clear as can, came these words. I can't change the world, but I can change the world in me if I rejoice. Okay then, message received. We can't change the world. We can't undo our past. We can't predict our future, but we can change the way we react and decide whether we will curse our situation or rejoice in spite of it, knowing God has our back. We just have to stop expecting everything and everyone around us to change and instead become the change. Trusting the path and the process God puts before us. A meditation. Contemplate the world that lives within you. What does it look like? Is it filled with darkness and unease, anger and fear, or with light and peace, contentment and acceptance? It may change from day to day. Most of us can't sustain light and peace around the clock. But if we begin to focus on what we can change, as the famous serenity prayer says, and accept what we cannot change, we begin to move the needle toward the light on a more constant basis. That requires some serious prayer and introspection, silence and self-awareness. Lent is the perfect time to learn to feel at home with that practice. I ask you to take 15 minutes in total silence today. Don't worry about any specific prayers or thoughts. Just be. Wait. And listen. Pray. 
pray with me. Spirit of God, speak to me in the silence. Fill my heart and mind with the knowledge that the way forward can be trusted even if it can't be changed. If I am grounded in God and rejoice always. Wherever you're going to take that 15 minute in silence, that doesn't matter. What matters is you do it. I wish you a wonderful day for some early mornings because the time changed. And for some to get up early, this is again a little bit more earlier to get used to the summertime changes. But anyway, also this change, we need to adapt to our bodies, right? And not only we, but also our pets and cows and whatever is on the farms need to adjust. Anyway, my dear ones, enjoy to find that 15 minutes of silence and let it be blessings and love to all of you. Bye.